Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Life with Tisha 1000 Welcome, welcome, welcome y'all So today, we are going to be reacting to Kondo Rondo Cries for help oh, They supposedly said he was crying for help or whatever Because I guess he got in trouble um, You know, with the situation with King Bond And I most definitely want to know what's going on Because, you know, Kevon, he was a good dude So, um you know what Quando Ronald did was wrong. So if you guys can do me a very big favor before we get into this reaction, like my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make first off, make sure you subscribe to my channel first, like my videos, make sure your notification bell is on, make sure you comment down below to let me know how you enjoyed it and everything like that. Y'all don't mind my hair. I did a twist style, I will be taking it down um on camera with you guys so you guys can see how it turned out and stuff. But um yeah, so we're going to be doing that. So y'all just make sure y'all subscribe, okay? And make sure y'all like my videos on up. Support my channel strongly. And I appreciate it. So we're going to get right into it right now. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of King Von. Now lots of things have been going on behind the scenes with Kwando Rondo. That involves obviously the King Von situation. As people are now wanting a piece of Kwando Rondo and his friend Lol Tim for what they did to King Von. And honestly, it's gonna be getting very interesting within these next few weeks, but make sure you guys just watch this video all the way until the end, as I am gonna be sharing exclusive information of people taking their chance at Quando Rondo, and Lil Dirk is apparently waiting for his chance. Now this is a video you're not gonna to wanna to miss. There's so much information. But anyways, let's just start with Lil Dirk and basically just the entire group of people at O Block. Now in case you aren't aware, people from O Block such as Lil Reese have already been taking their chance at Quando Rondo. Funny enough, Quando Rondo actually ended up blocking Lil Reese on Instagram and all social medias just about a week ago as apparently there has been going on conversations between the two in which could have made Rondo very scared of Lil Reese and honestly I wouldn't blame him at all. And this all happened about a week ago, who even knows what the conversation was about. But Lil Reese actually ended up posting to his Instagram a screenshot of him showing that he is blocked from Rondo's page and Reese went on to say how he's scared of them and things in that nature and obviously I honestly would be a bit too. But Lil Reese is not the only person who has actually taken their chance at Rondo so far. Apparently Lil Dirk is not going to be letting this down easy and apparently he's already allegedly bought all of Quando Rondo's recent show tickets. So then basically Lil Dirk and the guys from Oblock are the only ones inside of the venue. Once Quando Rondo heard that was basically their plan, he actually canceled all of his shows for the next couple of months. Now while this is still unconfirmed, there's actually been a lot of very reliable sources coming out and saying that this incident is true. And actually, after the King Von incident, Quando Rondo had a little concert type thing only about a couple days later. That was actually the first time we heard that Lil Dirk apparently bought out all of the tickets in the venue so that it would be just him and the guys from O Block at this show, who honestly would have known what would have happened at that show, but Quando Rondo and his team found out that apparently it was Lil Dirk, bought all the tickets, so they ended up canceling the entire show. But make sure you guys continue watching. We need to get going. Where is he with the presents? It's the same every year. He always leaves until the last minute. Oh! <laughs> as this is not the only problem Quando Rondo has to face. He actually also could be facing life locked up due to the King Von case. So make sure you continue watching as I'm about to share some very exclusive information. Now yes, obviously everyone is aware by now of who actually did this act towards King Von. And it was obviously Quando Rondo's best friend, Lil Tim, you can see him clear as day in the surveillance footage. I'm pretty sure everybody in the world knows this by now. Lil Tim and Quando Rondo 
have been best friends for the last few years, and they've made tons of new music together. But how well Tin was found out to be, you know, the person who did the act towards King Von so easily, and what not a lot of people actually know, is that Quando Rondo was recording a music video with Lil Tim on that same night the incident happened, which is actually how the law enforcement was able to know who did this to King Von, as from the music video to the incident surveillance footage, Lil Tim never changed the outfit that he was wearing in the music video. Just a few hours before the King Von incident, he actually posted to his Instagram story that he was making some sort of music video with Rondo, and he just never even changed his outfit. Now, while a lot of people believe that Quando Rondo is in the clear for this, since he didn't actually, you know, be the one who did this to King Von, this is actually where you're wrong. A lot of news articles has came out recently online proving that depending on how this case goes, Quando Rondo could also end up being locked up for this due to being something called an accessory to the passing of King Vaughn. But currently, the law enforcement are already looking into some new surveillance footage trying to see if they could somehow get some sort of audio or can get somebody to snitch on Rondo to see if he actually ended up telling Lil Tim to do this to King. Yeah, because when I seen the video, um, like a little snippet of the video of him getting set up from his manager and everything, it was a setup, you know what I'm saying? Clear as day, and if you smart enough to catch on to it, you would see that it was a setup and it's very, I think it's messed up. It's, it's just dead wrong, like, you know what I'm saying? It's messed up. I feel like it's messed up. He shouldn't have to, you know what I'm saying? They they, they have to sneak him and do all that and set him up because he was too cold, you know what I'm saying? And he, he was too smart and he always look at his surroundings. But if you just wake up and your manager walk up to you and be like, oh, woo, this, said this, that, you gonna go and jump right into it and do what you gotta do because you just a real dude like that. And that's, that's the kind of dude King Von was from my understanding, so. I feel like that's messed up. They didn't have to do him like that. King Vaughn, when they were having that little brawl in the middle of the street, if it does so happen that they can get some sort of audio or somebody to snitch on Rondo, and Rondo actually told Lil Tim to do this, it would actually make him allegedly an accessory to the passing of King Vaughn. And it also doesn't really help out too much that Quando Rondo doesn't really have the best lockup records either. He has been put into lockup several times, which makes him have a lot of priors. And that does not look good in a serious court case like this. So already on top of people already trying to get at, you know, Quando Rondo, as well as now the law enforcement investigating him, Rondo's gonna have a very... This season, Get in the holiday spirit with more memories and ice cold but very interesting next few weeks. And that's not even the only thing that he also has to deal with. Now make sure you guys continue watching as I'm about to share something very exclusive about Quando Rondo. Now, Quando Rondo has been fine since the King Von incident. And when I say fine, it means that nobody has gotten at him, you know, things in that nature. He hasn't been touched. But it turns out, just a couple of days ago at the time of this recording, Quando Rondo's brother ended up passing in a very sad way, as it still hasn't been confirmed on exactly how it happened. A couple of you could probably assume what may have happened. Now, again, I do want to state that at the time of this recording, there hasn't been any, like, confirmed reasoning on how it happened. I'm sure they're probably keeping it, you know, secret and things like that for the time being, due to the King Von incident, which involves, you know, Quando Rondo. But, as we get more information, I will make sure to keep you guys updated. But again, there's so many things that could have happened. Who even knows? It may not have even been anything related to, you know, Quando Rondo or the King Von case. We are still very unsure of this, but there is one thing that, you know, everyone probably should know watching this video, and a lot of people are assuming that Lil Durk 
he's gonna try his best to get some sort of revenge. Now, while, you know, I'm not, I can't obviously give you an answer, I just don't see it happening. And it's for the main reason that Lil Durk has put himself in such a crazy, crazy way of life right now. He is one of the biggest artists in the world. And the last thing that he needs to do is do something that will get him locked up for the rest of his life. Like, yeah, it was a very tragic situation. Even myself wish it just never happened. But I don't think that Dirk is going to do anything himself. But I am going to be ending the video here. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. It has been District Trending, and I'm out. Peace. Alright y'all, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed that reaction, give this video a big thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, just give me a big thumbs up. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, just give me a big thumbs up to support your girl um, channel. You know what I'm saying? Help help your girl get up there because everything counts. Give me a like. You know what I'm saying? Subscribing is helping me get up there because, you know, it's, it's, it's overall just helping my channel. So... By you guys keeping your, your notification bells on, no, make sure your notification bells is on. It's helping you also so you won't miss any of my content. So, y'all give it a big old thumbs up, y'all. And make sure y'all subscribe and keep your notification bell on. And comment down below to let me know how you enjoyed it and everything. And what was your intake and your thoughts on it. And um, everything like that. So, you know, um... Rest in peace to King Von. I really hate that it was a tragic the way it was. They didn't have to do him like that. I feel like that was wrong. I really do. But um, you know, all my all my love go out to um his family and condolences and everything like that. So if you guys do me a big favor, just subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? Keep liking it on up and support your girl. I would gladly appreciate it. I love you guys. I'm gonna stay consistent. And we out, y'all.